So as we know, the updating and patch update is not a leisure anymore. You have to keep your systems up to date in order to evade many security vulnerabilities that can impact your security posture. Last November, Microsoft released two uh, uh, patches that update many vulnerable components in Microsoft products. One of these vulnerabilities that was subject to the upgrade is vulnerabilities in Microsoft Active Directory service. This vulnerability is categorized as critical and could allow the hacker to perform attack called privilege level escalation. The privilege escalation attack can allow the hacker to transform a traditional user account to a higher privilege user account. For example, I can transform a user which has a privilege of domain user without any additional administrative privilege and grant him the admin privilege or a domain admin privilege. This attack can be used in a literal movement in any cyber attack. For example, once the hacker gain an access or gain an information about a regular user credential through phishing attack or a spear phishing attack, for example, he can then use this user after escalating the privilege and have a higher privilege in your environment and or in your network. So fixing this vulnerability and updating your Microsoft Active Directory is highly recommended. Apart from doing the update, let me show you that the public exploit and many know-how documentation or many know-how article that are describing how to conduct this attack in very detail step by step is publicly available on the internet. Which means uh, if you have a pen testing service, if you have someone with uh, malicious uh, or let's say malicious intentions, uh, insider threat uh, or an insider, he can do such attack if he has the right equipment and has the right knowledge. So it is recommended to do the patch as soon as possible. And although the patch is released or was released during November, so it is almost more than months now, but it seems that many companies didn't still didn't yet apply this batch. This batch is very uh, recommended to be deployed as soon as possible. And uh, aside the batch, the user awareness is very important because, as we described earlier, this attack can be used to transform a regular user account to a domain admin account. So, how can the user or how can the hacker get the regular domain account from the first place? There are many ways that hacker can uh, use it in order to gain access to any of your domain accounts. One of these ways is the phishing or, a spear, or the spear phishing attacks. One of other ways also is the brute forcing. If you have a user that doesn't have a high level of security awareness, they may, they may use uh, a, a bad password or let's say an easy, easily guessable password. So using a brute forcing attacks, the hacker can manage to access to their uh, accounts after doing a quick dictionary attack, for example. So in, in, in addition to update, user awareness is very crucial. You have to educate your users to use a, a strong passwords with uh, that abiding to the complexity requirement of your company. You have also to apply a strong group policy and the strong uh, policies to govern how the passwords can be uh, retained and how passwords can be written. You have also to educate and give an awareness sessions for your, for your user to uh, give them a way to be immune against phishing and spare phishing attacks. So uh, I think that was all uh, that was all for this video. You have to do an update uh, to batch these vulnerab vulnerabilities if you are subject to it, of course. And also you have to do uh, this kind of update first on a test environment and do a kind of risk assessment and do a kind of uh, checking uh, what, what will be the status after applying this patch. I am not here mentioning this patch specifically, but I am talking about the best practices in general. You have also to uh, have a kind of a vulnerability scanning software such as Nessus and Qualys. I am not promoting for any product, but uh, as an enterprise uh, company, you have uh, to uh, have you, you need to have a tool such as vulnerability scanning in order to do a regular vulnerability scanning in your company and know what is the current security posture and what is the current vulnerability profi vulnerabilities profile exist in your company. 
so uh, that was all for this video I hope it was informative and in my channel I will uh, publish uh, videos here uh, talking about about what are the recent vulnerabilities in many security vendors and in many software products that are publicly used and publicly available with many people so that was all for this video i would like to thank you for viewing and have a great day stay safe